uh, we would like to change this uh, Cassiopeia default template logo here and uh, we will show you how to change this one and where to change this uh, Cassiopeia uh, logo for Joomla 4 now uh, in our previous video uh, we start from scratch to install the Joomla 4 and uh, you can check that out if, if you are a beginner for Joomla uh, our objective here in this video is uh, you can create your own website website without uh, using uh, uh, any coding or uh, hard code so uh, we're here uh, to give you some tips and tricks and also uh, we will show you how so okay uh, our objective for today is we will change this uh, logo Cassiopeia template uh, default all right then uh, let's go to our Joomla administrator uh, back end so let's close this one right here first uh, then let's go back first to the main tab so this is your main uh, Joomla administrator right here to change the logo for the Cassiopeia template uh, you should go to here click in uh, system and then go to a uh, site template style and this is our Cassiopeia default so if uh, if you check our previous video uh, we installed Joomla 4 having this default template so just uh, click this link right here and then uh, there you go you have uh, three tabs right here the details and then the fonts and then menu assignment all right so now uh, we will change the logo there are uh, so many options to change the logo either you can upload the uh, logo here uh, you can upload uh, any logo and then or you can uh, you can type alternative logo so for example I'll put here uh, my uh, alternative logo is my blog and then I'll just put the uh, logo uh, for us to identify uh, so there's no nothing you, uh, you change right here because our objective right here is uh, to change the logo but uh, if you want to see some features of Joomla 4 you can uh, check that out in our previous video so I'll just uh, save right here and then I'll check out my uh, front end Joomla so you can see here the style was saved so to go your front end just click this one alright see now uh, you can uh, see it here that uh, my text uh, was uh, reflected in this area so the Cassiopeia logo was already removed so th 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 this is uh, another option if you if you change the logo uh, let's go back to the administrator you can also uh, change here the image that you want so let's try uh, to put some image just for example you can upload actually uh, but uh, in this we'll try to use the sample data that we have let's see uh, let's see if I will put this as a logo uh, well this is just an example I'll select that one and or maybe this one it's much more better select there you go and then uh, I'll just leave this uh, as it is so then I'll click save and then I click the uh, front page there you go so my logo was changed here uh, and then you notice that uh, if you put an image the, your alternative text will not show up so the priority is the image but if you delete the image it will show up the alternative uh, text logo alright
Now let's go back to the administrator side. There you go. So if I uh, will try to delete this one, we'll leave it as it is, and then let's click save again. And then let's see uh, if uh, it goes back. Yeah, there you go. Goes back. Let's go back to the administrator again and let's try some experiment. Uh, in default, there is a brand, but uh, let's try to uh, uh, not to show that one. And then let's save. Let's see the output here. There you go. So here, you don't see your logo. Uh, it's just uh, automatic with your uh, menus. See? So that is the brand uh, that we have uh, disabled. So, yeah, this is very flexible, I, I would say. If you put the brand, you can put your logo or you can put your alternative logo right here. All right. Now you know how to change uh, the Cassiopeia default logo. And uh, check out our previous video for uh, tips and tricks for Joomla 4. Thank you uh, for watching and see you in our next video. Bye.